Oh yes. Oh ja. Alright, so we're playing Deadly Premonition today. It's famous, kind of, for good and bad reasons. <laughs> Those kids give no shits. <laughs> that they just saw a dead person. <laughs> Iris. Crying animation at its finest. <laughs> yes. The emotion that I'm getting out of this is crying. Yes. That, that's what I'm getting out of that. Okay, so, yeah, uh, this is Deadly Premonition, um, it came out late 2000s, I think 2008, 2006 to 2008, in its original form, not the director's cut, for, I think, uh, Xbox 360, and Possibly PS3, but um, I'm not sure. But when it did come out, it came out to very, very, very mixed reviews. Uh, it, reviews for it were all over the place from god awful, like Abomination of the Earth, to pretty good quirky but pretty good um to me and from the little bit that i've played from it i personally really like it and it's right up my alley but it definitely has a shit ton of problems uh oh iris says 2013 those graphics could have been better yeah, no, it's updated graphics from 2008, and even then, it didn't look that good. It's very low-quality textures, very... Yeah, just n n no bueno. Um, but it's, it's a detective story. Uh, extremely Twin Peaks-ish. Um, Twin Peaks is extreme, like, insanely influential... Uh, detective show that came out in the 90s um, would highly recommend watching it for anyone very 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 good um, about a FBI agent being sent to a small town for some murder incident and weird shit happens paranormal and not paranormal um, Deadly Premonition is very 
in that same area. Uh, just weird shit happens around a particular murder. Uh, both paranormal and not. So, yeah, that's a little bit of background around it. So, uh, let's get started. That bear's got a swanky tie. I want to hear another story. Ah, uh, yes, of course. You've been waiting a long time for this, so how about a special one? This story is very strange and very nasty, but somewhat nostalgic. Do you think you can be a good girl and listen all the way to the end? Yes. Is it a scary story? Listen to my weird stories. Be, but it's also a very uh, important story. If you don't want to hear it, I can tell you a different story. No, I want to hear it. This way, I won't be scared. <laughs> His hand you went through her face just now. Then, leave the sound down like always. Oh, speaking of sound, let me turn this down. Now, this is... This is important. At times... There we go. So we meet our main character? Detective York. Or pretty much uh, Detective Dale Cooper from Twin Peaks. And I cannot express enough how much this like area that you constantly go to uh, is like straight up ripped from Twin Peaks. Uh, for anyone who knows, the Red Room from Twin Peaks, is, it's like literally the same thing. It's, except with no midget. And it has small kids. <laughs> Act the day, observe with why. But trust me, everything will make sense once we keep playing. So, we're in this place with uh, some... Angel kids from before and uh, things we can observe. A strange clock is ticking away, though the room itself makes you feel as if time has stopped. A doll shaped like a fat man. It has a plate on it which reads Washington State. Let's hear what this person has to say. A white screen. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. It's about time to get started. Yes. Satan revival shall immense. Zack. Zack. 
Can you hear me? It's me, York. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? Yeah. Good. I thought you went to sleep. Zach, don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay, Zach? Yeah, Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. <laughs> Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency, and they both know it. Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. But that's fine, as long as that's what Tom wants. Think about it. His actions. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job. Yeah, fucking Tom. And Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Hello? I love that. I love that part. I can't believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. Network error. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well... Yeah, right, Zach? The perpetrator from the last case was something. Who thought there'd be razors laced in gray nails? Crazy. Just crazy. Well, at least I now have a scar to show off. You see this? I got this when I arrested the cat woman wannabe. <laughs> Don't you agree, Zach? This guy knows how to drive. <laughs> oh, boy. Not the squirrels. Alright. Let's be real. You don't tend to survive stuff like that, but... You know. Detective York is a different kind of man. Yeah, you like that camera angle for car crash? How it looked like he was flying through the air? Yeah, it was... Top notch. <laughs> yes, new sig. Zach. There goes the civilized world. So, well, yes, I do want to save. I t <laughs> t answer your game, Iris. Yes, what the fuck is this game? So, like I said, it. It's weird. Um, it's... It's, um, very, very different comparatively to other games. Honestly, to most... Uh, compared to other action RPGs, this one is... Well... The only reason why I would call this game as an RPG is because you do kind of collect other items, and... You do keep track of stats, but not in a very normal way. 
Oh, there's also collectibles. Like Agent Honor. Oh yeah, I'll take the steel pipe. Hell yeah. Right, let's see here. So this is the pause menu, which is freaking sweet. Train card, key flag, map, item. Weapon. So we have a steel pit, a nine millimeter handgun. I like how it doesn't change. Steel pipe and a knife. There we go. Equipped good old steel pipe. Let's see if I remember. Uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Detective York is on fucking duty. Oh geez. Start profiling. Looks like we're being welcomed. Zach, I'll let you handle the meet and greet. So York <laughs> I didn't play long enough to really understand, but York is special. He kind of has like a sixth sense. I don't know if he's like an esper or something, but he's, yeah, he's definitely not like a normal human. He definitely has some sort of like psychic ability or something. Whatever you'd like to call it. The only reason why I didn't play um, through the entire game when I first played it was that uh, the PC version tends to crash a lot. So this is highly risky to play on stream, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm fully expecting crashes throughout. I will be saving a lot and hopefully I get further than I did last time and maybe uh, when people are watching, they'll give me tips on how to not crash. That would be pretty cool because I legitimately have no idea. I tried and looked and I got none. Huh? No. Dog. Oh, oh. You got a little shaky cam? York, you got this. Observe the dog. Hmm, so much for my hopes for a peaceful picnic. <laughs> to <laughs> okay. Part of the body is gone. Must be that thing we saw. I see corpses all the time, but rarely any this mangled. And as you see, he talks to uh, Zack. And that's also something that I didn't play long enough to fully understand either. Zack is, I assume, an imaginary friend? Possibly something else? I'm not actually sure. But we'll see. Because I'd really like to play through this entire game. Because it only gets more and more interesting. Where did the spoopy... Where did the spoopy person go? Sweet can of pickles? Hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. Oh. Oh. I don't know what was going on with that camera for a second, but... Sure. A control panel for the power grid. This should give us electricity we need. Not an expert opinion, though. Uh, yeah, turn it on. 
I uh, love how simple that was. <laughs> Sweet. Boopy. Yorks is like, this is fine. Oh. It's gonna get you. She's gonna tickle you. You got mysterious shadow. Yeah. So you get like hints or clues throughout different s stories and such. Draw. Uh, lock on with R2. There we go. Yes. And whenever you do good, he tells himself, good shot. You got you got to compliment yourself when you do good. Shit. There we go. Unfortunately, ammo is a little bit scarce, so I probably shouldn't waste it like that. Start profiling. I've been through a lot of crazy situations, but that one, that one takes the cake. <laughs> it's the first time I've been attacked so directly. Yeah, I mean, Jack, can you give me a logical explanation about what that was? Never mind, don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries. Right, Zach? <laughs> oh, why? Let me pick up this phone. Yeah, I want to save. There we go. Then, get a good old lollipop. Apparently, York really likes lollipops. I don't know if there's any story significance to that, but that, that's a thing. Oh, shit. They're gonna get you, York. Oh, let her, let her. Okay, I don't want to shoot her butt. Alright, well, I guess I'll. Alright. Can you, like, do your head thing? There we go. Okay. Good, good. I swear you can crash break barrels in this game. Um. I, I have it over the pipe. Oh boy. Yeah, this wasn't put on PC well. Kinda at all. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Yeah. I feel like I'm wrong. That's very realistic. But I think you can break boxes. Yeah! Okay, I was right about something at least. You can break some sort of thing. An old sign. I can make out Jir Grenbeil. Looks that are headed down this road, Zack. I guess so. We got some ancient honor for breaking some box seals. I remember this part being a little bit difficult. Got 
Got him. I was really lucky. There we go. Plenty of agent honor. I believe this is the right way to go because the other way is locked. Oh, 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 there you are. Oh, shit. Um, oh. I was wondering what it was happening. All right. So it's like a re-dead kind of deal. I got to shake them off. There we go. Uh, no, my steel pipe. It is broken. Well, I gotta... Gotta grab my knife. As cool as the pause menu looks, it's extremely disorienting to get through. Break all the boxes. Shit, York's getting tired. Oh. Got her. Oh, I got something. Hell yeah, first aid. One bandage. All I need. Uh, I can I can take my time. She ain't going nowhere. One and two. There we oh. Okay. There's another one I think. There you are. And two. Sweet. Really kicking ass with his knife, York. There's another one? Where? Oh. We'll find it at some point. Toolbox? Oh, right. You, it's like a Resident Evil kind of deal. You can put away and store things that you can't hold or don't have space to hold. Hmm, something is amiss here. Can't put my finger on it, Zack. I think the killer really had a grudge against it. Machine broken by axe. Let's try to find a way to fix this mess. You got fuse box. Never understood why you can't take the axe. So that'd be pretty sweet. Oh well. Alright, so... Whoa, wait. Oh, can't get through. I need the, uh... Fuse box to be put somewhere. <laughs> uh, just one swing and a knife and the lock is gone. Mm-hmm. Shit, where you at? Alright, one hit and two. <laughs> Can you not follow me, please? Thank you. What else is in here? I don't think anything. 
Doesn't look like anyone lives here. No reclusive hairy brutes to greet us. Oh, you. Looks like nothing is broken since it's the same model thing I can fix it. Sure. The power in the area should be much more stable now. Let's hurry ahead, Zack. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of them. Alright. Can you hold on while I break some stuff? Alright. You, you're getting a little too close. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh. You getting your... Your zombie juices on me. Shit. There we go. Sweet. Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay. I know one of them gets really dangerous. Oh, shit. Knife is broken. Wow. Oh, that choking. Oh boy. I didn't know that was a thing. It was quite beautiful. Yes. yes. I mean, after that choking noise, York, you really have to make yourself feel better. Jeez. Oh, this is the guy. This is the guy that sucks. They shield themselves. There we go. All done. Oh, or or not? Are you dead? What? Is, okay. Amazing. Look at yourself, York. You're beautiful. Okay, there we go. It seems the car crashed into the electrical pole, severing power. Quite the nuisance, huh, Zach? Where did the driver go, anyway? Why did he just leave his car? Can't see much through this fog. The path might be blocked from the rain. We should stay away from obvious danger. Yep. That, yep. Can you not spawn from there, please? There we go. I don't think that will, would work out for me. There we go. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful shot. There's no one better than you, York. Let's just keep moving. They just keep spawning around there. Shit. 
And you got too close. Can you not? Thank you. And you're getting a little too close for comfort too. No. Zombie question mark? Rain causes bloody walls. Yes. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this part. No, no, no. I guess you next time. I remember uh, I didn't press B quickly enough, so when I first played it, so I had to like do a lot of things over again, and it sucked. I'm very glad that didn't happen this time. Huh? Uh? What's happening? You got red ivy. Now it all makes sense. Lollipop. Recovers a little bit of hunger. Just a little bit. There's definitely something in this town. <laughs> Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, Tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Oh my goodness. Alright, let me save. Yes. And now we just run. <laughs> Iris asks what the fuck is going on. Um, you know. Things. And such. I, I, I'm following the plot perfectly fine. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about, Iris. <laughs> oh, you had to go... <laughs> do RA stuff. So, I just fought a bunch of... I don't know if they're zombies, but... Uh, apparitions would probably be the better description of them. And... Through it all, I met a guy with an axe. And now I'm finally in the town in which they were waiting for me. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. Just call him York. That's what everyone calls me. Yeah. Agent York? Good, that's good. <laughs> good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. We went looking for you, actually. You should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. <laughs> she was just like, what? Okay. She is easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. You're a psycho. Don't want that. Welcome to Greenville. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. Only George. Good. Very good. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? 
say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. <laughs> I'm always looking for new sampling cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors are critical with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem? Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. Yeah. I'm the one fixing them one by one <laughs> and maintaining peace and order. <laughs> you can have your profile example, but I need you to understand that. Of course. Of course. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant Thomas to take care of it. <laughs> Thomas is great, by the way. Do you need anything else? When we meet him. Thanks. That'll be all. <laughs> well then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. <laughs> what are you talking about, Iris? This is how humans talk to each other. I don't know what you're I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't call you York. So I'm an asshole. <laughs> Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife. Alright, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king. I love the script for this game, by the way. It's just so good and cheesy and bad all at the same time. Hell yeah. But well, here you go, Iris. A review. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? The coffee one. So Zach, to me, is you, the player. It's broken. Been using that one for a long time. Why don't you get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies? Of course she did. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies, too. I've never been to a movie theater, though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's fucking coffee. <laughs> what well, do we got over here? Sugar donut take don't mind if I do I just add this trading card to my collection you got angel Isaac looks like the door was unlocked So this is like York's dream world, kinda. Um, that's the best way to describe it. 
or psyche or something along the lines of that. What little boy? Oh shit. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. Kid, what the fuck are you talking about? But okay. Yeah, so this is happening. Um, <laughs> I forgot how long that part was. <laughs> I think it's meant to like try and trip you up to make you like stop holding your breath. But nah, you just kind of chill there and wait until it's over. Thanks, kid. Who are you? Yeah? Gonna answer? No. No. Nah. No answer. And I feels you, Iris. I mean, the kid just said, like, she had never been to a movie theater. That part to me was like, huh, wow. Dang, that's a huge ass bed. Now that is a hotel bed. Zach, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees, a carpet with red leaves. Strange doll, uh, twin angels. It's but that child it's like the same fucking most. thing from Twin Peaks. Swear, I've literally seen the before. same exact thing is literally the red room from Twin Peaks. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. Let's get Let's some coffee. Cafeteria, Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. Okay. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? Do 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 do. Looks comfortable enough, though I'm starting to miss my own bed back home. Save. Oh, okay, apparently I can hold my breath still. I don't think that mechanic was supposed to stay. Yeah. <laughs> you dig in the edge, Iris. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it is soup edgy. But not, I wouldn't call it edgy, it's just very something. So another mechanic in this game is that you gotta stay on top of your hygiene. So people act differently to you if you're, uh, 
if you didn't shower for a while or didn't shave and all that. So, like, if you don't look good and don't smell good, people will notice and, like, it'll be detrimental to you. So that's what I was talking about, like, with pseudo-RPG elements. You have to take care of certain tasks about your character. Is it this way? Oh, it is this way. Okay. Running all alone in this huge-ass hotel. Ah, that's just for saving. Ooh, snacks. Various kinds of foodstuffs. None of my favorites, though. <laughs> okay. Various kinds of, But that's... That's drinks. Coffee. Makes it harder to become sleepy for a little while and recovers a little bit of tiredness. Wait, is that how much it costs? Thirty-one fifty for three coffees? I mean, I guess in a world where you get paid $860 for like three hours of work. I guess that makes sense, but three coffees, $31. Okay, game. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Moore. Oh my what goodness. Is ready for you? I'm here to kill you. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. <laughs> Thank you, Polly. Everyone just wants to be known by their first name. Last names do not exist in this game. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Yes. It's delicious, Polly. This is how you enjoy I'm food. Chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. <laughs> Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt in that white shaker there. Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Uh, I freaking love this part. No My husband and I used to run this place, but... He's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my. We're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, you yes, can't I hear. Suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's mm. nice. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. <laughs> I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still what are you talking about? Husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly. What does that even mean? I hear you from all the way over there. <laughs> you're exaggerating. This is fine. It may do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say music so fitting to case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my. Well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. Yeah. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. Nah, it was just Nickelback, so don't. It, nothing special, dude. He's offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Good hey, idea. Polly, what can you tell me about this? Hey, town? Skull Crusher, what's up? You might know this already. But the town is called we just started a playthrough of Deadly Premonition. But it's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. We used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. This hotel was built back then. We mm. saw plenty of guests in those days. 
That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories <laughs> from back then. I suppose the of the community. Yeah, it's called Crusher. She's she likes to talk. Yes, my favorite clock sounds. Yeah, sure. Tell me about the shops. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Well, there aren't many. Oh, do you want me to call you Sign Kyan still? I got you. Most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. The A and G Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. If you want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 65. What a good name. I don't care much for either of them. Bars are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course. The art gallery and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. Well, Mr. Morgan, I better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. Good. Coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best yeah, so now you're shit, I Polly. I'll be right back you better bring your A-game. York doesn't deal well with his shit. Is that whole thing full of sugar? Christ. Look with interest. Look into the coffee. Tell your future. Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. I yes. I, can count on you. I need to fuck someone. Obviously. Now then. Let's get going. Okay, let's get some Agent Honor by talk by walking around the piano. <laughs> Sign kind. I need to know about the stores, man. I need to know. Look at all this food for no one. It's kind of sad. Oh, do I just... Okay, I just drink more coffee. Unexpected trouble is coming your way. Lucky item. Lighter. There's always trouble heading my way in this job. Hmm. But I'm always up for a little excitement, too. I forgot about this part. You get a... Um... A little fortune-telling thing. With your coffee every time you have some. I don't know if it affects gameplay. Like, with the lucky item, I'm not sure if that actually does anything. It'd be cool if it does, but I have no idea. And I don't even know what lucky would even mean. Okay, Cyan. We'll be here. Clear. Yeah, we better be paid a lot for talking to Polly for, what, two light years? A can of pickles will satisfy a small amount of hunger. Good to know. I really am not a fan of pickles. I, I, I keep trying it. I keep hoping that I like pickles. Because so many people, like, grow into the taste of it. But each time I'm like, nope, this is awful. Why would anyone eat this? Oh, and time is really important in this game. You actually have to be like on time for shit. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, hey Zach. Which sucks because 
driving in this game is functional. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply mm -hmm. amazes me. Functional. The yeah, keys that's were left on the front hood. And nobody stole the car. Best place. Best Values. way to describe it. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. <laughs> New York. <laughs> oh boy. So we get shown probably the worst part of the game, driving. Uh There's uh, you legitimately can drive like an actual person. Um it's not like Burnout 3 where you just like go wherever the fuck you want. You got to actually like drive. Like legit but you also have, uh, God, my voice just cracked. You also have bursts or boosts, but you also can turn on and off your wipers and signal left and right. Uh, okay. You got master key. Sweet. Flare gun. Sure. There we go. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. That's not what I wanted Zach, to do. Is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna no, Graham's I... file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, Z Zach is very much, or at least in my belief, it's the player. At least it definitely seems that way. <clears throat> because that, because whenever he re <laughs> first is Zach, so do you see what I <laughs> mean by the driving? I just kind of slam towards <laughs> the railing there because I went just a tad too fast. All right, we need to look at the map. Because you legitimately have to know how to do directions, so. Hey, Sion Kine, what's up? So, we got... We're just looking at a map, you know, to figure out driving. You gotta take a left onto Vale Way. And then keep on taking Vale Way. And then take a right on Canal Street. Or wherever that street is. And then a left. So... Once again, when I first played this, or like first played a little bit of it, what what's going on with that car, guys? What what is happening here? D Does it need help? The wheels are going somewhere. Um. Um. Good. Sir, do you need assistance? Sir? Sir, are you alright? Okay. Well. As it was foretold, the car shall be one with the ground. Okay, let's take this turn. Yeah. Oh, that's boost? Oh, okay. I think you get yelled at. Oh, okay. Why is this car stopped? Okay. Well, I'm gonna get around you, car. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what I get for <laughs> reading chat. We're almost there, I believe. Yeah, I think this is it. And then take a left. Here it is. Sweet. We did it. Yeah, when I first played it, I got lost so badly. So, so badly. That's one fine building for such a small town. 
The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zack? Yes, York, I do agree. It is a spectacular building. <laughs> I love the thing York does with like his finger when he's like waiting. He's just tapping himself, but like not really. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. Uh, Tom is his best. He is best girl. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everybody calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... Yeah? I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I okay, dude. I believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, uh, not, really. not really. I just stalked it's her a lot. Small town. I'm you know, took pictures it's of her in the, the shower. You know, the use. This is the really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I lost the key to the cabin. <laughs> Iris asked if Tom has broke his neck or something. Yeah, it's, his head goes all over the place. Oh, that run. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. What was that camera zoom on Thomas? I have no idea. The the cinematography for uh, cutscenes in this game is <coughs> amazing, to say the least. They are very jarring sometimes. Yo, Thomas, where's my shit? I really can't seem to find that key. What should I do? The sheriff isn't gonna be happy. It has a southern flying squirrel key holder attached to it. You haven't seen it, have you? God, you're so shit at your job, Thomas. So there is a, a puzzle here, I think, but I'm not totally sure. Nope. Yeah, so the key is somewhere. We gotta find it though. Because Thomas can't do his goddamn job. This person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. Oh. Yeah, yeah probably. An emergency exit. It's locked though. What use is an emergency exit if it's locked in an emergency? That is true. That's really bad. It, actually. That's really really bad so we're in the jail right now this person oh yeah most likely I think you can sleep here if you want to. Yeah, you can sleep if you want to. I honestly have no idea what happens if you do. Hopefully we'll be bringing in the culprit soon. 
Though they'll mean the end of our little vacation here. Just a bad. Uh, eh, nothing. Oh, wait. Wait, things are in here. Agent Honor. And the keys. Damn it, Thomas. What were you doing in here? Probably, um, Thomas things, you know, fucking weirdo things. York, I think you can open doors without checking if there is, there is a murderer on the other side. I think it'll be all right. We're in a police station. There he is. Agent York, did you find a key? I did. You found the key. That's the right one. <gasps> How did you do that? Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. <laughs> uh, love the gaping okay. mouth. I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. No, we just helped Thomas do his job correctly. Gosh dang it, Thomas. Her name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But... For the time being, she was working in the A&G Diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in a lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and a on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. Damn right. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. <laughs> she OD'd on heroin. Case closed. <gasps> City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. <laughs> all of them can't be as bad as them. <laughs> Some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted <laughs> biscuits. It's delicious. Fucking biscuit. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually, I, well, I, I baked them myself. Oh, Thomas. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? They're very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. <laughs> no, I must finish my biscuit. Company meets at the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're yeah, going Thomas. To use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. But the muffin, though. Clear. Sweet. So we have plenty of money. Uh, once we're able to, we can go around the stores and buy shit. Like country ham. I could go for some country ham right now. That'd be really good, actually. Greenville General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Damn right. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. 
Oh, man. <laughs> Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. In the end, George falls in love with York, obviously. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. Jeez. George, we better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. Well, what time is it? It's like 1017 or 1018. We're fine. What? You don't think we will we won't get there? Oh. Oh, because it's raining. I see. What? You don't think we'll get there in like 9 hours? I think we'll be fine. Agent Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. <sighs> well then, Agent York, let's get going. Yeah, so you have to drive like a normal person. Which is an interesting concept. It's just like, oh shit. No, let's reverse. There, oh, okay. Really close. Did my like seven point turn. Well, let's look at the map. Oh, hey, the power, what's up? Oh, and yeah, I'd be more than happy to raise the volume. I didn't know it was uh, low. I always worry about game volume being too high, so yeah, I'd be more than happy to raise it. I mean, the music is actually really good, so I am all for hearing more of it. Oh, oh, yep. Sheriff, do you have nothing to say about the horrible driving that just happened? Uh, map? No. There we go. So, we gotta take a right. Go left. Alright. Oh, yep, no, it's... It's right, up, and then left on the Am Street. And then we're there. Just reverse it up here, you know, how you would usually drive. You're welcome to power. I got you. But you know what I don't got right now is that I am very stuck. What am I hitting? Okay. Well, 50 is as fast as I can go at the moment, it seems. So I don't even think I could break the speed limit by that much. Oh, and also you can break on a dime. Or start in reverse on a dime. Shit. <laughs> that went well. Oh, mm, yep. I is the best at driving. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way. Back it up. 
Alright, there we go. Cool. Yeah, so we're coming up to the part where um, I had trouble with uh, it crashing. So we'll see how lucky we are. I might not get to it tonight because I'm probably going to end in like the next 30 minutes I want to say. I was unfortunately I'm not able to stream that much tonight. But uh yeah, this will definitely be a thing I continue on in the near future with um randomized Pokemon and what else am I doing? Randomized Pokemon. Deadly Premonition now. Uh, or something a else. Hospital. Oh. They to I'm going to start to do uh, Diablo 2 with um, a friend. Oh, in Lost Kingdoms. In Lost Kingdoms. Now, yeah. My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. I bet she did. No one asked. But the hotter the fever, the faster it cools. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use this place. It pains me to watch my hometown lose so many citizens. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Jeez, I'm just yes, trying to help. That is. Indeed. And that's why this case is our problem. There really isn't any need for you to get too involved. <laughs> did you did you see Emily like levitate up on that step? Oh boy. Yeah, the graphics isn't always the greatest. Hello, Sheriff. Oh, Sparkly Fiona. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? The hospital? The hospital? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. <laughs> I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. <laughs> really? A computer room is where you share a computer? In this town wear cologne. <laughs> Yeah, Besides, uncivilized that scar folk. In your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's yeah. set in the U.S., a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to Twin Peaks. Town, but everyone feels the seditious, heinous, Twin evil Peaks. Alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenville. Fiona, don't say that. <laughs> Twin Peaks. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain. It's good you're enjoying it. What we're yeah. faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different <laughs> from that of a novel. <laughs> uh, right though? The powers? Yeah. This, the dialogue is probably one of my favorite parts. It's it's beautiful. It's, it's great. It's great. <laughs> Let me save here. I do enjoy this game though. It is fun. But it definitely like I've been saying this entire time, it just makes me want to watch Twin Peaks again forever until I die. And I cannot wait for Twin Peaks very much awaited sequel. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Wait, where do we go? Oh, here we go. All right. We couldn't find him. Fiona needs to check her information. 
No, I don't think so. Does the doctor like playing games by any chance? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, look There's around a you. On the computer, and a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook and meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this, right? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, it's fine. King passes rook and beats bishop. Knight takes a pawn to the queen. So... King, Rook, Bishop, Knight, Pawn, Queen. Yeah, I just wanted you to choose out which ones are which. The doctor I mean, below unless you the never play chess. Another code? Uh, but there's nowhere to insert a password. Yeah. More games. I'm going to get There's literally the posters there to help right you. Now. No need, George. The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Simple. Simple. Of course. Then it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. Nah. <laughs> uh, his obvious distaste. Oh, George. I guess they'll... Come at a different time, then. I don't know why they're not following me. At least I don't believe so. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't following me. <laughs> yeah, so... I was just about to get to that again. Yeah, so... I am nearing a part where it's extremely famous... For this game to crash um if it does i most likely will stop for the night and then figure out how to fix it and then continue on because yeah other i completely understand most other streamers are probably running into the same issue i remember reading on forums that the pc uh version of this game is just not good uh not like gameplay wise, but just how it was ported over. Extremely poorly done. It's locked. And so... It causes tons of crashes. Which is just awful. And should not be a thing that happens in this day of age. But now nah, we'll we'll get fixed. If we run into a crash, I will definitely find a way to fix it. Because I personally really want to see what happens in this game. And uh you guys seem to want to too, so I will definitely be Working very hard to get this game working. I think I'll buy a cracker. I acquired crackers. You know that saltine cracker challenge or whatever that people talked about? I don't know, like... A year or two ago. I legitimately really like saltine crackers. And I never got bothered by eating a lot at the same time. Isn't that the challenge? Isn't it like to eat a lot without drinking or something? Oh, sure. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you I might 
be missing something about it, but I it's not. I don't understand it. Yo, Usha, what's this up? This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usha Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI special. And the only Francis doctor, York. most likely. Please call me York. Everyone calls me that. Everyone. Very well, Agent York. Are you a forensic practitioner? Let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That battle of wits, by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the Yes, past. I knew what chess pieces were. Well, it was pretty fun. <laughs> well, I'm glad you liked it. Oh, yeah, I completely agree to power. Yeah, this game is very interesting. And I really want to see Next time, try what all happens. Without obstructing an investigation, you've angered the monarch. Yeah, dude. From the onset of rigor mortis, the stiffening of the muscles, the time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds, pressure marks around the neck, and a long cut running from chest to abdomen. The blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Her skull is also fractured, but that is unrelated to the cause of death. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Now, I first thought death by suffocation, due to the marks on her mm. neck. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. Which means... <laughs> she was cut up while she was still alive. Uh, that blows. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum and then quickly sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Her nails are clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. Mm -hmm. The perpetrator cut out Hannah's tongue. Well, I believe she was drugged first to phase her consciousness, and then the killer killed her. Now, the killer most likely has a deep, traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with them normally. So he kills them instead. The Got tongue, it. Suggests a very lonely individual. Either that, or a truly hardcore sadist. He must get off on watching women suffer, especially when they can't answer back. I guess so. Now, he watched as the blood pumped from her body, as she gradually grew cold. Now, a case in Seattle in 1985 was much like... Usher, please, limit your report to your findings as a doctor. Criminal profiling is my job. Yeah. Come on, Usher. Get with it. You're wrong, also. Anna died fully, deeply, painfully aware of what was happening to her. But, uh... Tell me, what time did it stop raining on the night Anna was killed? Yeah, come on, uh, tell us! Just before I went to bed, right after the movie on TV ended, so... Around 1 a.m.? What movie was it? <laughs> An American Werewolf in London. Uh, directed by John Landis, 1981. <laughs> so the rain stopped, accompanied by the ending song... Blue Moon. George, would you mind if I examined Anna myself? 
What more do you hope to find? I'm sure I mentioned that I have a personal interest in cases like these. Yeah, this this definitely got rim that, that power for sure. We shouldn't stare at her for too long, but but that bod. His age isn't immediately apparent, though he can't be that old. Looks like a trustworthy doctor. I agree. And then George is being all angry. Still no hint of a smile. There's no reason we should focus our efforts on George. Traces of evaporated liquid around the eyes. She must have, been, have cried before she was murdered. Beautiful blonde hair. Stunning even in death. Judging from the impression, she was holding something in her hand, but it was removed around six hours after death. Oh, you have that movie? It is a very good movie. The object was circular with a relief shaped like a piece mark. The, um... The ones after the original American Werewolf in London are not nearly as good. But yeah, that, that one is very, very good movie. She's neatly wearing fake fingernails. Shit, what happened to her feet? The tongue has been removed. Look at the edge of the stub. I, I guess I will. From her lack of resistance, I'd say that Anna's injuries happened very quickly. Unable to speak, she was then left to cry herself to death. Zack, it's all starting to come together. <laughs> the perpetrator stayed with her for at least two hours until it stopped raining. At the estimated time of her death, it was still raining. But you can still see tear marks on her cheeks. That means she was killed under a roof somewhere. Hmm. She was then carried into the woods after it stopped raining. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> There's one other thing. Her tongue was removed with a very blunt knife. In fact, it's more likely it was simply chopped off. Asha, are you a passionate man? Well, not particularly, I'm a, but I am man enough should the moment call for it. George, how about you? I'm very passionate. Yes. Especially when it comes to women. <laughs> oh, okay, but dude. I don't see what that has to do with No me. one asked. George, the perpetrator is just like you. He's passionate about women. He's a passionate kisser. This was a kiss of death. The perpetrator bit off honest Tom. <laughs> we'll never get a dental print from a wound like this. But this is still a big lead. case is now under the jurisdiction of the FBI. I'm assuming commander. I'll need you to assist me in the investigation. Dang. What the hell do you mean, Agent Morgan? I know I said I was passionate, but you can't think I did this. That's not why I'm assuming command, George. You're a suspect just as much as every other passionate man on Earth. <laughs> Let me show you something. You know, he just carries them around with him whenever he goes. There you go. Amazing, huh? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but most of the details are top secret. Top secret. 
George, Emily, we should be going. No need to stay here any longer. Okay. And yeah, I completely Some agree to power. Just Their use of very well. Uh, mise en scene and any longer down here. Uh, cosmetics and animatronics in that movie was very very well Bishop done. takes queen. His rook takes your queen. Then your knight takes rook. And checkmate. <laughs> My first victory in the Grandmaster ranking. <laughs> oh my goodness, this freaking game. <laughs> Shit's going down. It definitely seems that way. Uh, yeah, I'll buy a lollipop as well. Alright. So. I am going to save here for now. And I think this is a good place to stop for tonight. Uh, we are we will come back to this probably tomorrow, to be completely honest, or definitely Sunday. Um, I will be looking online extensively for a fix to the crashes that tend to happen in the next. 20 minutes of the game and we will get through this game for sure because I really want to see what happens uh, and continue to play it because I've heard many 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 things so yeah um, yeah uh, the power the uh, will we stream like Tuesdays and Thursdays and uh, weekends most of the time so definitely follow and uh, you'll get to see you next time whenever I play more deadly premonition which would be yeah most likely tomorrow most likely tomorrow all right did I save pretty sure I did I'll double check yes very good I do like this title. This pause menu it is really nice. Just extremely disorganized. Thanks to Power. I hope so too. But yeah, uh good night everyone and I will be back yeah, tomorrow. Not sure when, but most likely tomorrow at some point and then definitely Sunday. Sunday most likely will be a very long stream. Saturday will be short. 